So the Samsung Galaxy S20 here is approaching like its fourth year and one thing that excites me is that this phone has got the security patch update September 2023 and also runs on One UI 5.1 and so you get to have almost all the features on the Samsung Galaxy S23 right on this S20. Let's deep dive and see some of the features that still makes this phone relevant in 2020. Let's talk about the display and the design. The S20 features a 120 hertz and a 6.2 inch AMOLED display with a pixel density of 563 pixels per inch with a Corning Gorilla Glass 6. And the S20 has this slightly curved edges which the screen does not really get into the curved area but i i know most of you out there are not a big fan of the curved edges but but i am and so it excites me a lot with this high refresh rates vivid colors and like a bezel less display the samsung galaxy s20 display is much better than some of the flagships that were released recently it's great for watching movies, YouTube, and Netflix. The screen also supports HDR10+, so you kind of expect those inky blacks when viewing content. Now let's talk about some of the hardware features. The Galaxy S20 rocks a Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 for the US version or the Exynos 990 for the UK version. If an option is presented, it will be wise to buy the Snapdragon version as it is much better at cooling and RAM management. The Snapdragon processor is way more efficient than the Exynos. In addition, the phone comes equipped with 128 gigs of storage and 12 gigs or 8 gigs of RAM depending on the region. And the SD card slot is expandable to 1 terabyte. This is crazy, I mean considering that the new Galaxy S21 and the S22 lineup doesn't have expandable storage. Now just like any other modern smartphone, the S20 is fitted with triple camera setup featuring 12 megapixels wide lens, 64 megapixels telephoto lens and a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens. The camera performs great in various lightning conditions and doesn't fall too short when it comes to comparing these camera setup with recent smartphones of course the s22 ultra and the iphone 14 are superior in terms of quality and processing but the s20 is not far behind a casual user might not even notice the difference now in terms of software and os the samsung galaxy s20 is running on the latest version of android on Samsung's own skin One UI 5.1 or 5.0 depending on the region and the phone was settled for you know three years of major updates and unfortunately this will be the last. If software and security are a priority the Samsung Galaxy S20 is still fully supported by Samsung. However you should know that the Android 13 is the last major update that the s20 is gonna get additionally the software experience is identical to the s21 lineup now i know most of you would like me to talk about this the battery and the battery is what surprises me a lot because i came from the samsung galaxy s10 to the s20 in 2023 and rocks a 4000 milliamps um battery and guys this phone can actually keep me the whole day and it surprises me a lot at least for the first time i have a samsung phone which i run on 120 hertz refresh rate and can still keep me like the whole day now if you are considering on buying this phone and um, here are some pros and cons that you should be looking at it supports ip68 water resistance um wireless samsung decks it also supports 8k video recording i mean who is going to use that anyway and also supports super fast charging it's really affordable especially at this time and um, i also like its fast processor and above all the 120 hertz refresh rate which makes the phone feels incredibly fast now here are some of the downsides that you should be considering that the back glass leaves fingerprint marks when you touch them which is something that anybody is not going to notice because i mean whoever gets this phone is going to use a cover and also one biggest downside is that the hd resolution 
cannot be used with the 120 hertz refresh rate thank you for sticking with me to the end of this video if you liked it make sure you hit the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't to become part of this wonderful family and if there's anything i probably didn't talk about and you want me to talk about it or if you have any questions just leave them down below in the comment section i'll do well to answer all of that and i'll catch you in the next one